What's going on YouTube, Giasen right here. Today we have a brand new update to the iDevice Toolkit application that I made for tweaking iOS devices and of course customization. And this one includes now a new feature that allows you to inject tweaks directly into IPA files. Let's discuss a little bit about this uh, update because it's quite important. Now you can find the update here on my website on iDeviceCentral.com. There is this article over here, including the supported iOS versions and how to use it. And of course the IPA file and all the features of the application. However, as you can see in version 1.6.0, there is now tweak injection. And this one works on iOS 18.5 and lower compared to the other parts of the app that only work on iOS 18.3.2 and lower. So if you're getting an error like this, incompatible iOS version when you open the application. This only is applying to the aesthetic tweaks over here. So these, the privacy tweaks, the experimental tweaks, these over here that are based on the vulnerability by Ian Beer. However, the file manager here at the top, as well as the tweak injection here with the syringe icon, these will work on iOS 18.5 with no problem because these don't require an actual jailbreak to work. What you can do with this new version, the version 1.6.0, is that you can inject real iOS jailbreak tweaks in in the dialib or framework format into any IPA file. Now, of course, do that responsibly because we do not condone piracy. However, you can just specify the IPA file that you have on your device and the tweak and you can get a tweak in a number of ways. And then of course you can combine them using the application and get a tweaked IPA file. As you can see over here, if you go here on GitHub, there is now the release. And if you click in here, you can get the IPA as well from here. And keep in mind that the tweaks can also be obtained from dev files. So I mentioned in here that it supports Dialib or framework. And if you go ahead in here inside the uh, application, you can see that it asks for a Dialib tweak over here or a framework. Now you can can get that from normal jailbreak tweaks as well. Let me demonstrate how. So you have this tweak over here, for example, it's a free tweak from a jailbreak. It's called Twitter disable new share menu. I just picked an example and this one is a deb. By itself, it would not work in the application. However, inside the deb file, there will be the dialib file usually that you can extract and use and that would work pretty fine. There's no reason why that wouldn't work. So to extract it, you can just open a terminal window, write ar-x and just grab this file over here. And we should be able to see the files. Now you're going to have the control file and the data tar file. This is what you need, the data tar file, and you're going to have to extract that one as well. To extract the data.tar.lzma, you can just write tar-lzma-xvf and then drag and drop the file over there. And it should be enough in order to just get the files. And now you can see we have a folder, library, and then we go here to mobile substrate, dynamic libraries, and there you go. Twitter disable new share menu .dialib. This file over here from the tweak would be perfectly openable with the new application. That's how you get the dialect tweaks from the dev files and you can use them in the app. This video was brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, boot loop and so on. Definitely check the program out in the link below if your trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. Thank you for watching and GeoSnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.